I've been journaling every day in Obsidian for over five years now. But before that, I had trouble getting my journaling habit to stick. And in this video, I wanna help you overcome the friction that is typically associated with daily journaling by showing you how I created a journaling automation using the Quick Add plugin that allows me to capture journal entries to the appropriate section in my daily note from anywhere in my Obsidian vault. This is the exact workflow I use to journal every single day. And once you set up the Quick Add command correctly, like I'll show you in this video, it only takes about five minutes to complete. I'll also show you how I roll up all these journal entries to make them easier to review, like I mentioned in my personal retreat video here. All right, let's get into it. So first we need to set up our daily note template with different sections for the different types of journal entries that we're going to capture. I capture three different kinds of journal entries when journaling, regular journal entries about things that happen throughout the day, wins, which are things that I accomplished or that went well, and gratitude, which is something specific that I'm grateful for from the day. I use third level headers for each type of entry and every entry is a separate bullet with a sentence or two and a specific tag. I use nested tags for all my journal entries, which means that the parent tag is journal and then the nested tag is entry, win, or gratitude respectively. So at the end of the line for a journal entry, for example, I'll add the tag hashtag journal slash entry. And this actually applies both of those tags, but it also lets me use the tags pane on the right sidebar to find either all my journal entries or just the hashtag entry journal entries by clicking on the tag and opening up a search query in the left sidebar. In my previous video on personal retreats, I also mentioned a separate note that I have in my Obsidian Vault for each type of journal entry that rolls up all the entries with that tag and reviews them in reverse chronological order. That puts the newest entries at the top and that allows me to easily review these entries from the last quarter whenever I do my personal retreat. These queries are actually included along with that personal retreat template file in the newest version of my Practical PKM Starter Vault, but here's how they're put together. It's basically just a note with an embedded query, which you can add via a code block by adding three backticks and the word query. I also have a beta plugin installed called Query Control, which gives you a few extra visual options. This plugin is not available in the community plugins directory and it needs to be installed via Brat. But once it is installed, it gives you some additional settings, which I've configured here. You can set these the way that you want, but in the note itself, I use some options in the code block to give the query a title of journal entries. Hide title colon true actually hides the query title because I think that looks better as the note title. I have context colon true, which makes sure that the result in the query shows the entire line and render markdown colon true is something that query control adds, which shows the live preview of the text instead of just the source markdown, which just looks a little bit better in my opinion. And then finally, the path is daily notes. Since I keep all of my daily notes in a daily notes folder in my root vault folder, that also has the hashtag journal slash entry tag applied. So that's the code block. And when this is rendered, it looks something like this. So then when I review my journal entries, I can just scroll down from the top and see my most recent entries. I go back about three months and then I move on to the next note for the next type of entry that I've captured. Now, of course, this requires entries to be added to my daily note first in order for them to show up here. So obviously I can just go to my daily note, click under the appropriate section, type out the entry by hand. But I wanted a more efficient way to capture these entries and have them get added to the appropriate section automatically. So this is where Quick Add comes in. Using a capture macro in Quick Add, I could actually capture an entry from anywhere in my Obsidian Vault and it will automatically get added below the appropriate header in today's daily note. So here's how I set this up. First, you need to install and enable the Quick Add plugin. I've linked that plugin below this video, but you can also search for it in the community plugins directory. Once you have it installed, go to the plugin settings and add a new capture choice. Type the name, for example, journal entry, select capture from the dropdown and then click the add choice button. Once it's added to this list, click the gear icon to configure the settings. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is make sure that capture to active file is off. If this is toggled on, it will just add whatever we capture to whatever note happens to be open at the time we run this command. But since we want this to write to the current daily note, we want this off and then under file path format, we want to link to the daily note using a date token. So for example, I keep all of my daily notes in a daily notes folder so they don't clutter up my vault and my path here is daily notes slash and then the date token, which is double curly brackets, date colon, year, 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 dash month, month, dash day, day. It's the exact same token I use for my daily notes. Now, once you enter the text, you should see a preview on the line above that looks something like this. 
So next are options for what to do if the current file doesn't exist already. Now most of the time my file is already created, but I toggle on the create file if doesn't exist option just so that QuickAd doesn't return an error if it can't find that file yet. But I don't want QuickAd to just make a new blank file. So I also toggle on the create file with given template option and point it at my daily notes template file inside of my templates folder. This template that I'm walking through here is actually included in my practical PKM starter vault, by the way. So next we need to tell QuickAd where the captured text should go. So for the right position option, we want to select after line and then insert the text from the daily note template file we want the captured text to appear after. So in this case, I want it to appear on the note below the third level header for journal entries. I frequently capture multiple entries in a single day and I want the newer entries at the bottom. So this is basically in chronological order. So I toggle on the insert at end of section option here. I leave consider subsections off as well as the create line if not found option. The next section is linking and I don't really want to do anything with this. So I leave link to capture file disabled. Next is the content section. I don't want to capture this as a task. So leave this option off. But then there is the capture format and this is where the magic happens. So in here we want a dash at the beginning followed by a space that's going to be rendered as a bullet when we view this in our daily note. After that, I use another text token with double curly brackets, value, colon, and then what happened. That is the text that will be displayed in the modal window when the command is run. And whatever I type in the text box will replace this text. So after we close that token with double curly brackets, then I add the tags for this type of entry. In this case, it's hashtag journal slash entry. So when I run this command, it will prompt me for some text, convert it to a bullet, add the tags, and then append it to the appropriate section of my daily note automatically. But if I run this command more than once, all that text will actually end up appearing on the same line and it won't create separate bullets. So at the very end of this section, we need a space, a backslash, and the end character. And this will force QuickAd to create a new line at the very end, and that will allow us to capture subsequent entries to separate lines, which is important. Okay, so now we can close the settings to go back to QuickAd, and the command is ready to be used. But it's not going to show up directly in the command palette just yet. We can run it by selecting quick add and then choosing it from the list, but we can trigger it directly if we click the lightning bolt icon right here. So do that. And this will allow the command to show up directly in the command palette when we access it. All right, it's all ready to go. So here's what it looks like in action. First, we invoke the command palette with command P on Mac or control P on windows. Then we select the quick add journal entry command from the list. We get this modal window asking us what happened. We type our text, hit enter or click OK and the entry gets added under the appropriate header in today's daily note. Now from here, we simply duplicate what we did here for the other types of entries. So we change the section, the prompt text, and the tag that gets applied. Otherwise, it is exactly the same. Now where this is really handy is on my mobile device though, because that's usually where I do my journaling at the end of the day. So I've actually recreated the same quick add macros on my iPhone, to make journaling as part of my evening routine as frictionless as possible. On my iPhone, I have it configured to open up the command palette when I swipe down on the screen, then I run the appropriate command, enter my text, and my entry gets appended to the appropriate section in my daily note. And as I mentioned at the beginning, capturing my entries at the end of the day like this really only takes about five minutes. So that's how I capture journal entries as part of my daily journaling habit using the QuickAd plugin. If you want to dive deeper into journaling in general, I actually have a course on this inside the library, which is my private membership community. The library pro tier not only gives you access to all the live events in the community itself, that's $10 a month, but it also has Life HQ, my epic dump for you, Obsidian Vault, and all of my courses and cohorts. You can find out more by going to library.practicalpkm.com if you're interested. And if you'd like more Obsidian tips, templates, and resources, definitely check out my free Obsidian Starter Vault. It includes a daily notes template that I used in this video, as well as the journal query notes for rolling up your journal entries. You can download the starter vault for free by going to vault.practicalpkm.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in another video.